Dakota on KX News. The 639. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Now this morning we're joined here by Bismarck resident Stephanie Mart. Thank you so much for joining us, well, Stephanie. Thank you for having me. And she is here to tell us about an upcoming event going on in the capital city here coming up. It's the Capital Quilters. They're going to be putting on their annual quilt fest November 2nd through the 4th. So tell us a little bit about this event. I said I'm always, I was just talking about this, I'm always just so mesmerized by quilting. It's just Incred an incredible art. Yes, we are having a quilting event, so we're going to have a bunch of local and regional and even a national teacher coming to our quilt show to teach classes, and then we also have a quilt um, show. So we have the quilt classes and the quilt show. The quilt show will have a number of different quilts in about 18 different categories, mm -hmm. and so we would really like the public to come and help vote for their favorite quilt. All right, so what, what do you guys want to, for people to know about quilting and, and, and this Quilters Fest? We want to know that all ages are welcome. We have some youth that are coming to take the classes or even entering mm -hmm. quilts. So it's really for all ages and even just for the public to come and see the quilt show and just to enjoy um, the art that many of these quilters have put together. It is quite an art. So does this event cost anything to attend? Uh, the Classes, we have a registration online, and each class is a little bit different, but we also have the quilt show, which is a $5 admission. Okay, so let's say you're brand new to quilting, or let's say you've been quilting for a while. Would these classes and whatnot be worth taking, even if you are a native quilter? Definitely. We have all different skill levels. We do have a uh, quilt meandering quilting taught by our national teacher and that will be an opportunity to expand your quilting skills for those who have already machine quilted as well as some very beginner classes. Like I said, we have some youth taking them. That's awesome. And there's also a contest I was reading about this year about bringing your ugliest scraps or something. <laughs> we so tell us about this contest. Yes, we do have an, uh, the Quilt Guild put together an ugly binding uh, challenge and so we have a uh, piece of ugly fabric either to put in the top of your quilt or in the binding and so so is your goal to make ugly into beauty pretty much Kinda. you know it, we went along with our binding friendships theme mm -hmm. and just did a unique challenge for everyone to see what they're going to do with the ugly fabric sounds like a fun time and again that's happening from two uh, on november 2nd through the fourth so I'll be sure to check it out and uh, try, check out all these beautiful quilts and maybe take a class thanks Definitely. so much stephanie for joining us thank you and there's still plenty of news and weather ahead on good day dakota including we are going to tell you about